Well, the community is mourning the loss of a Central Coast beloved woman. Stephanie Snow had a rare disease and for years the Santa Maria community has rallied behind her and her family. KSPY's Kelsey McFarland joins us now live in the newsroom with a look back at Stephanie's life. Kelsey? Yeah, Stephanie Snow was one of two girls in Santa Barbara County diagnosed with FOP. It's an extremely rare connective tissue disease. After a long battle, she passed away yesterday at age 26. The Central Coast community has followed Stephanie Snow through her triumphs and through her struggles. She was diagnosed with one of the rarest, most disabling genetic conditions known to medicine, fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP. Since they found the gene, and they've come a long way. Throughout her young life, the Central Coast has raised funds for a cure and cheered Stephanie on in her battle. Early December, Stephanie wrote on Facebook, my health has severely declined in the last eight months. FOP has taken my physical mobility away. I just want to say thank you to all of my family and friends because if it wasn't for the money raised in the 16 years of fundraising, we wouldn't be where we are in regards to research and the clinical trials. Stephanie's sister Ashley says for the past eight months, Stephanie privately battled a secondary medical issue known as myoclonus. Symptoms include involuntary twitching or jerking of the muscles. As news of her passing spreads, dozens of heartbroken friends and family members share their most precious memories. Ashley writes in a Facebook post, We are beyond inspired and proud of how hard Stephanie fought, but are grateful that she now is no longer in pain. And Stephanie's family tells me they're busy fulfilling some of her final wishes right now. But later on this week, we'll talk to them about Stephanie's life and the impact she made on so many. So many people she impacted. And our deepest condolences to the Snow family. This is such a difficult time for them. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for that, Kelsey. And the family is working on final arrangements and appreciates privacy during this difficult time.